Hi, Eagle Mon family. I'm so excited to let you know that we are launching our in-person gatherings on Sunday, July 19th, right here. We're planning a one hour or slightly less family gathering with children in mind. Uh, there will be uh, social distancing grade four to six programming, but otherwise children will be with their parents. Throughout this COVID situation, our heart has been that we want everyone in our community of Beaumont and region to see that Eaglemont truly cares about them. And so it's with this in mind that we are following the guidelines laid out by our provincial health authority. And, and that's an important posture uh, to honor authority as we're called by God to do as well. Uh, when we gather on the 19th, things will look different. Someone will hold the door open for you as you come in, the two entrances, and you can watch for forthcoming information about what your entry point will be based on your last name. Uh, in a week or so, there will be uh, some frequently asked questions and answers to those questions at, uh, our, on our website at eaglemont.church. Uh, we ask you to review those carefully. Uh, when we gather, it will be a no-touch experience. No hugs, no handshakes, no fist pumps. Uh, this will be hard for most of us, including myself. Um, but I'll, I tell you that as lead pastor, I, I feel the weight of responsibility for these things. And so I, I, I humbly ask you, as I've mentioned in previous communication, to honor this request and this protocol for the care and safety of all. Additionally, we're asking everyone to wear a mask to our gatherings as an extra precaution for now. Uh, as we've said before, we want to be a place that shows love and care for the most vulnerable who may venture out to one of our gatherings. Uh, if at all possible, bring your own mask. We will have some available for those who forget. Uh, and with masks on, we'll be able to sing, but we ask you to sing gently. Uh, that sounds odd, uh, but I'm sure you know what I mean by that. Uh, some may want to remove their mask during the preaching portion of the morning, but uh, we ask that you put it back on as we dismiss everyone uh, each Sunday at the end, uh, again, for the sake of others. And thanks so much for your understanding. Uh, just a point of clarification, I previously mentioned that we'd have a designated mask section. We will still have that area where masks will be required to be kept on throughout the entire morning for those who prefer that. Uh, we will also uh, need you to reserve a seat for Sunday gathering each week uh, by Friday noon prior to the Sunday uh, through an online form that will be available at eaglemont.church. And really, thank you in advance for your attention to this. This, uh, this will be a great help. There's a cap on numbers, and so this step is essential to help us in our planning uh, and to ensure that uh, we are able to maintain the physical distance protocol in, in the facility. We know that not everyone will choose to return right away for various reasons, and we respect those decisions. And so we'll still have Sunday morning online as it's been. Uh, also, if you miss completing the survey we recently sent out, please let us know if you'd be available to serve in some way on some Sunday mornings in coming weeks and months. Uh, that uh, would be just uh, so great if you're able to do that. There are some new roles as we relaunch in the way that we need to. Uh, church family, as I close, I, I wanna thank you for your prayer and financial support during this season of upheaval. Uh, I also wanna commend you for your Christ-like love and care. I've heard so many stories that are examples of Jesus' great commandment to love God and love people. And we love God well by loving people well. And so many of you are doing that in some pretty cool and practical ways. And I'm sure the many examples of this that I've heard um, about within our church and, and uh, our church family uh, are only the, the, the tip of the iceberg. Uh, so continue to ask the Holy Spirit to show you ways that he wants you to share and, and, and show his love with, uh, to others. What an awesome and uplifting thing. We're better together. And it's God's grace shown to us in Christ and then reflected through our lives as his followers that is stuff that shapes cultures. I'm praying for you daily, church family, and uh, so looking forward to seeing you. God bless.